Good morning. Welcome to Casa Texpino. We're on build day number 41. Ding, 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 ding. I hear the bell. Time for the guys to get to work. Um, <clears throat> today they should be continuing with the hollow block wall for the all the interior walls up to the lentil beam height. <clears throat> um, and they will be forming other lentil beams to be poured um, throughout the day. Uh, they're continuing to form both columns and lentil beams uh, and pouring concrete as they get those uh, forms completed. Uh, so the, uh, the, the goal for this week was to get all of the, uh, all the walls, interior walls on the first floor up to lentil beam height and to pour all those lentil beams. Um, that's a big task uh, for today. Um, they may get all of them up to uh, the correct height, but I'm not sure if they're going to get them to uh, be able to get them poured today. Um, either way, we are making a lot of progress this week. Um, we have seen a vast improvement just from when uh, our daughter was here last week uh, through this week. The, uh, the site construction is moving along at a very quick pace. Now, understand, they also did tell us that the uh, once it hits the finishing stage, it will slow down quite a bit. So that, that <clears throat> is understandable. Um, as the expression in construction goes, fast is good, but good is never fast. So if you want speed, it's nice to have. But if you want quality, it takes time. Without beating that dead horse anymore, um, let's go ahead and get started and see what, they, what they're doing today. All right, this morning the guys are getting started uh, removing the forms off the concrete that they were pouring yesterday. You see a couple of different guys, different locations removing forms so a little later we're gonna go back and look and see what all that concrete looks like <clears throat> I'm expecting good things they usually do very good on the concrete so they get started up here as well getting ready to continue on with the uh, block walls for the interior of the master bath It's early, these guys just got started, so everybody's getting to their locations, getting to where they're gonna start working. <clears throat> to Mr. Rafi already out here digging a new hole. <clears throat> Morning, Rafi. top pulling off some of the forms from yesterday's lentil beams <clears throat> ah yes lentil beams let me take a moment <clears throat> and discuss to you what I'll discuss with you what lentil beams are okay for those of you not in construction or unfamiliar with the term for the lentil beams um, in the US <clears throat> when we're building windows or um, door frames they have um, across the top what's called a header um, <clears throat> as well they may put a lintel beam which in most cases in the US construction you will see it over the windows uh, and the door frames as a piece of angle iron it'll look like uh, pretty thick gauge uh, sheet steel that's been put into uh, an L shape uh, from the side it looks like an L uh, and then it goes the whole length, uh, the whole width across the uh, window opening. The, the purpose of this is so that any load that is transferred through uh, that area does not go through the window or the door which is obviously weaker and not uh, load supporting 
and it'll share the load and spread that load back out to the wall or to the nearby columns. <clears throat> In this case, we use the, the lintel beam, this concrete beam here across the top, to spread the load coming down from the top of the roof and the, the wall above. Uh, it'll spread this weight out here and come down the columns so that all of this block wall here in the center, as well as this particularly weak window, are not trying to support the load. Um, it helps spread that, uh, distributes that weight uh, to other locations so that it uh, doesn't pop the windows and doesn't break that location. Just a quick explanation. Um, I did have uh, one of the subscribers ask about it. So what is a lentil beam? <clears throat> so there you go, quick, brief, kind of rudimentary discussion of what it is. All right, mid-morning, let's go take a walk through. Mr. Rafi's still working on the holes. This is for the column post for the front porch. Still doing fill material. Got the forms pulled off of yesterday's concrete. Concrete looks good. Yep. Mr. Jericho is still back here working on the uh, master bath walls and the water closet getting these up to height Haven't pulled this form off just yet, but the top part they did. Looks good. Putting new forms up on the top for the lintel beams and the between the master's closet, bath, and office. <clears throat> Mr. Manny going up, start fabricating the uh, break, break. <laughs> when Mr. Manny gets back from break, he's gonna be working on the new lentil beam going across the top of the kitchen area. This is between the great room on this side and the kitchen on the back side. What's the game? We're also building forms for the beams in bedroom number three. Still working walls on interior. This is bedroom three, bedroom two. They built the form for the column in the corner of the staircase. You know that notice they've got the rebars already coming out of the walls or built into the walls. Uh, to assist with the landing in that area. So there'll be a landing. Um, they did a temporary marking. I'm not sure if you can quite see it. There are temporary markings down here on the uh, hollow block to show where the steps should be. Again, these are just kind of a temporary guideline for them. Up to the landing and then the landing will go on up to the attic floor. Mr. Justin has been busy back here working on the hollow block wall separating the bedroom number two from the garage. You notice he did get up to the um, third course 
So one, two, three, third course, and they put a tie rod. They do that every third or fourth course. Either one is valid and available in whatever they're using. Uh, typically they've been going on threes. They go three, six, nine. And then the 10th course is uh, left half empty uh, for the lentil beam to fill in the rest. All right, we're gonna do a afternoon walk around, see uh, how far along we've progressed since this morning. Still got a couple guys working steel and wire ties. Over here in the garage, they're making mortar because we are still doing lots and lots of block. Uh, looks like Mr. Jojo and Wilson are working the uh, column form on the outside there. That's the uh, corner of the maid's room and the garage. Mix and mortar. We got more hollow block going on here. They're up to the sixth course. See the uh, small piece of tie rod up along the top. You'll see where the rest of everybody else is at. <clears throat> All right. Oh, they finished the uh, tie. Oh, the lentil beam across the kitchen this morning. In the bedroom number three. Mr. Alex is working mortar on the hollow block. This is between the bedroom two on the other side of the wall. This is bedroom three's laboratory area. And this is the hallway into bedroom two and the stairs for up to the attic floor. Also, going to be the half bath in the hallway. Yeah. All right, let's look around, see what everybody else got. Still working forms. So we got form for the um, column. The orange pipe that you see in the middle is for a hidden gutter system. That'll be connected from the roof down and the water will go out through the bottom. So from the outside, you won't see the gutter system. Uh, looks like Mr. Rafi is still digging holes. We've got a new lentil beam. That'll get formed up a little later. Still moving fill material into the master suite. Mr. Jericho is still working hollow block on the water closet and master bath. This will all be done by the end of the day. He is up to the seventh course. So let's see what I was saying. They usually do um, one, one, two, three, and a, let's see if you can see it here, tie rod, one, two, three, four, and another tie rod. Normally, most of the time, they've been doing three and six, like what's on this side of the wall. So you got one on the third, come up, and then there's the other one on the sixth, and another one up here on the ninth.
this is all the concrete they've been mixing. It is a little. column and up to the end of the wall here uh, they'll finish that this afternoon as well if they've still got concrete left over there are two other columns that they'll be looking at pouring uh, both here in the uh, garage area so one here and then one on the other side of the garage here or the corner of the main room in the garage and this is the corner of the garage slash storage room slash pantry all right Ito yung biga na pinuusan namin. <laughs> Ayan. Oh. Not puno. Dita kanya. Not puno. Dita. Kulang na lang dita. This way naman. <laughs> oh. Kulang. 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 Oros na. <laughs> Yun si Forman. <laughs> Salamat. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna wrap up the end of Casa Texpina build day number 41. This is the end of week 7. Uh, the guys are starting to clean up and start wrapping up. Um, today they've gotten um, most of the walls completed within the master bath. So they're up to the lentil beam pipe on height on all of those walls. They are they poured um, some more lentil beams uh, in the master closet area as well as uh, around the uh, dining room. Uh, in addition to uh, one of the columns in the dining room as well so um, pretty busy day for the guys they've been uh, mainly focused on uh, finishing the block work uh, there are still a couple guys that are working in the uh, guest bedrooms in bedroom two and three uh, finishing up the walls in that area uh, and we'll show you those next week uh, when we come back on Monday thank you for watching if you liked today's video please hit like subscribe and hit the little bell icon to be notified when our next video becomes available. Till then, have a great afternoon and God bless.